Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. In this episode I have a Shure PGX2 handheld transmitter for repair. Something is wrong with it. As you can see there is a couple of uh, rechargeable batteries. They are freshly charged and I tried putting them into a similar transmitter. No problem with the batteries. But when I try powering this thing up, nothing happens. Let's take a look. So, the first thing is to remove this head. And uh, here we have this uh, clip. We need to remove it and try to prevent it from flying all over the shop. There you go. And now uh, we need to remove this part. So we need to carefully unclip it with a flat screwdriver or something like that. Let me do that off camera. Here we are. I managed to unclip this little cover. What I needed to do is to gently push through this opening on this latch just a little bit, otherwise it can break. Push forward and up. And now we should be able to remove this uh, cover uh, gently again, because there is another little latch on the other side. Here we are. Here is this uh, other latch and uh, light pipe for the power LED. And now we can remove this uh, rubber button and this uh, plastic insert perhaps as well. And now I believe we need to remove these uh, screws here and uh, lift the battery compartment out. I removed the screws, so now we should be able to lift the battery compartment right out. Carefully, there you go. And now this whole thing should slide right out. So here we have a board. This thing should disconnect. And we also have this connector here for the infrared receiver. And the screw here holding the board. Let's take a closer look at this board. Here we have battery contacts, power switch. This is a gain switch when uh, this thing is installed. And when uh, we unscrew the head, we can see the switch through the slot and it's marked 0 and minus 10 dB. And I see some unpopulated uh, footprints here. I believe this is for LCD display, these uh, four mounting pads. And this is for LCD driver chip. I think this board is identical for the SLX model. And uh, in that model this uh, cover would have a little window in it for LCD display. And I believe I know what the problem is. Let's check continuity across this power switch. Let's see if I can hold the probes with one hand and uh, push with another and nothing. So this must be a very simple repair. Just replace this power switch. Here I have a couple of replacement switches from previous repair projects a few years ago. These are from uh, Mauser. And there are several ways to remove this switch. The simplest would be to use uh, one soldering iron, to melt the solder on one side, and try to lift that side up a tiny bit, just a little bit, to avoid lifting the pad on the other side. Then repeat it uh, on the other side, and repeat that several times, every time lifting up uh, slightly higher and higher, and eventually this should work. Another way would be to use two soldering irons on both sides at the same time, but that takes two soldering irons and some practice soldering with both hands. 
And uh, yet another way would be to use uh, special equipment, something like uh, hot tweezers, like these, to melt on both sides at the same time. Let's apply some flux. And use these hot tweezers. There you go. That was very easy. Now let's clean the pads. We need to remove the excess solder using this wick. Like so. A new switch is soldered. Let's test it. Assembled just enough to test. Let's try. And there you go. LED lights up. The repair is done. The transmitter is back together. And it is working fine. Thanks for watching. Bye.